Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm super excited about the video today because I am basically doing a full face of Huda Beauty products. Um, basically, Huda shared a picture of my before and after on Instagram a few weeks back. Um, and wrote a really sweet post about it um, and basically in the after I was using her foul filter foundation which I absolutely love like I swear by it um, and then we've kind of been in contact since then yeah they sent me um, a lot of products that I just have to like do a video about and basically try it all out um, and show you guys so yeah let's get started okay so first thing i'm going to use is the huda beauty complexion perfection pre makeup base um i've used this once before and i really liked it it's got a really nice feel to it so it just glides on the skin like it's it's thick but it's not too thick and I don't know it just applies really well so I've already done my um, eyebrows because I don't have any eyebrow products of hers um, I might have to cheat slightly in this video with like powders and um, that's probably it but mostly it's going to be Huda Beauty products um, so I think next I'm going to go in with the foundation. Um, I'm going to try using uh, Amaretti first, so it's the Foul Filter Foundation, um, and see if it matches my tan. And if not, then I'll go in with a bit of creme brulee to mix it up, make it a bit lighter. So like this foundation is really good. I go on about it in probably every single one of my videos. And I just put a little bit all over, so I don't use a full pump for each square. I use probably like just a little tiny pump. And then I've got her um, face buff and blend brush, which I love. And I'm just gonna push that into the skin. The neck, yeah, so I actually think that's quite a good match. I just love this foundation for when I really want to just cover up all my redness. Obviously, you can't get rid of the texture, that's always going to be there. But when you can hide the redness, makes such a difference and because I don't have a concealer I think I am going to go in with the lighter shade in creme brulee I've got and just dab a little bit in all the areas that I would usually conceal under the eye that and then the same brush I'm just going to use my trusty L'Oreal Infallible Foundation Stick to contour quickly. Oh, I've got itch. Oh no. Mm. 
I'm thinking of changing my hair up a bit, you know. I think I'll still keep it pink, but I don't know if I have to go for longer hair, like get extensions put in, or chop it. So, because it's, I feel like it's at that awkward length at the moment. It's like, I don't know, I always feel like it needs to either be shorter or longer. I think I'm saying more towards the extensions. What do you guys think? I'm sorry if this lighting is awful, I will switch it up next time. If I'm completely honest, I just really couldn't be asked to move my ring light in front of me. Because it's a bit of a mess on my dressing table right now. So I'm just lazy, I'm so sorry. Whoopsie. So we've got our base sorted. I'm just gonna set that with a bit of powder, which is not Huda Beauty, don't kill me. This is meant to be a full face of Huda Beauty, and I've used like two of the products so far. Well, I'm using um, Rimmel Stay Matte, translucent powder anyway. Um, just because I tried them the other day and they're bloody amazing especially if you want just like a really quick eyeshadow look or you're not that great at blending or you're not really into all the like loads of different eyeshadows and blending out and stuff these are really good they blend so well colours are amazing I'll just show you I think I'll zoom you in Close. Need my eyes. Oh. Okay, that'll do. Right. Just tilt you up a bit, guys. <gasps> oh, my nose contour is not looking good there. I need to sort that out. Better. Okay, um, so this is the Huda Beauty Matte and Metal Shadow, Melted Shadows, um, and this is in Minted, I'm going to be using, so I'm literally going to put this, oh, look at this colour, all over the lid. I actually used um, one of the shadows as well the other day to cut the crease. 
because it was that easy. Right, look at that. You just glide it on. Like that. And then I'm just going to get a brush when I can find it. It's quite pink, it's just stained from pink eyeshadows, I promise, I have cleaned it. And then just buff the edges of that. So, so easy to blend, you have no idea, I barely, like, touched that. So I'm going to keep it quite simple with the eyes. Just put my brows out a bit. And then I'm going to use the other end, which is the metal part. This one. And again, just brush it on. Honestly, I love this so much. And then I'm just going to grab that brush again and just blend these edges in. Okay, and then I think I'm just gonna use some black liner. I'm gonna have to use a mirror for this, not the viewfinder. This is um, Soap and Glory Super Cat Liquid Eyeliner and I love these. They do like a skinny version as well, which is great to be like really precise. Better. It's just really, really, really simple on the eyes. <clears throat> and then I'm going to take Minted again and just take that and just take that under the eye. To the middle and then buff that out. I'm literally using one brush as well. 
just to prove like how easy this look is. And then back in with the metal to the inner corner. This is the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. I kind of don't want anything in my waterline. I think I'll put my lashes on them and say. And this is um, NYX Tinted Brow Mascara. I'll probably do this like three times throughout my whole makeup because I hate when they like start to look powdery. Okay, so now I don't know why I'm playing hair so much. These lines are all from like swatches I did. And I wiped them off and wiped my tan off as well. It's very clever. Um what am I doing now? And I'm using the Huda Beauty 3D Highlighter Palette. And I'm going to find my fan brush. I've lost it. Ah! I just hit a spot. Ooh, that hurt. Why am I never prepared? Ever. Okay, right. Um. Oh my god. It was in my brush pot the whole time. Okay. So I'm going to go in with my hand brush. And look at these. So pretty. So I think I'm going to mix these two. I be fair. It's really pretty, bit of a blur. Yeah, I'm going with Ibiza. That's pretty. It's like nice and subtle, which is what I'm going for with this look. Well, I'm thinking it might be too subtle. You can see that. Maybe if I use like a bigger brush. That's better. Didn't even need the fan brush. And then I'm going to take a pencil brush and I'm going to go into that goldy colour here and just highlight my nose. Oh god, that was a lot. Wow. It didn't look like a lot on the brush and then put it on. Oh god, 
it again. That's a lot. Brow bone. Wicked. I like that. I'm gonna go in with Huda Beauty Lip Contour in Trend Setter. I'm gonna do a lip balm. My lips are super dry at the moment because of Accutane. This is just a Jack Wills lip balm. I pretty much just use. I just have loads of lip balms lying around at the moment. Okay, so now I'm going to line my lips. <coughs> And then I'm going to use um, the Huda Beauty Liquid Matte in Crush. You did not see that at all. Before. These glide on so well. Even with my crap load of lip balm on right now. Beautiful. Now it's lash time and I hate doing lashes so I'm going to do this off camera, sorry guys, because that hit me bloody ages. So I'll be back. Just went to do my lashes, forgot to say that they are Huda Beauty um, number one Giselle lashes, so something quite simple. Right, I'm going to put them on. Bye. Okay, so I've got my lashes on and I absolutely love them. They're so light and fluffy and pretty much everything I want in the lash. I think these are my new favourite lashes. Yeah, I love them. It. I'm not gonna set with a setting spray because I've cheated enough and I don't have a Huda Beauty setting spray because she doesn't do setting sprays so um, yeah I don't want to cheat anymore so I'm just gonna leave it like this so this is the finished look This lighting's way better, I'm sorry. I should have used this to record. Oh well, next time.
you enjoyed this video um if you did if you could like it and if you're new to my channel if you could subscribe that'd be great um i'm trying to post a lot more frequently now um so probably about three per week i haven't got like scheduled days or anything like that i'm really not organized at all um but i'm trying i'm trying um but yeah um thank you for watching and i will see you in my next video thank you bye go away Go away!